Ah, that noise takes me back. Hey guys, welcome back to The Gamer Play. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is the Oregon Trail for the Apple II. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. That's right, everybody. The Oregon Trail. Awesome stuff. We are jumping back to my grade school childhood here. My grade school childhood. This is crazy. The Oregon Trail is a best-selling educational computer game developed in 1971 and produced by Mech in 1974. I will be playing the Apple II version that came out in 1985. Now, for those of you who don't know anything about the Oregon Trail itself, the real Oregon Trail, let me hit you with some knowledge. Let me educate you kiddies. I am here to educate today. The Oregon Trail was one of the main migration routes on the North American continent, leading from locations on the Missouri River to the Oregon Territory. To complete the journey in one traveling season, most travelers left in April to May as soon as grass was growing enough to support their teams and trails dried out. To meet the constant needs for water, grass, and fuel for campfires, the trail followed various rivers and streams across the continent. In addition, the network of trails required a minimum of road work to be made passable for wagons. People using the trail traveled in wagons, pack trains, horseback on foot, by raft, and by boat to establish new farms, lives, and businesses in the Oregon Territory. Now, the four to six month journey spanned over, over half the continent as the wagon trail produced about 2,000 miles west through territories and land that would later become the six U.S. states of Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, Wyoming, Idaho, and Oregon. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. So this game, it's like a, it's kind of like a point and click game, but not really. It's more of a typing in the number game. Now here are my options right here. I can travel the trail, learn about the trail, see the Oregon top 10. It's pretty much a high score list. Turn sound off. Let's learn about the trail. Didn't I just do that? Didn't I just try taking a journey by, by covered wagon across 2,000 miles of plains, 2,000 miles, rivers and plains. Will you, will you slosh your oxen, oxen through mud and water filled ruts or will you plod through dust six inches deep and i gotta say i think the way i said this is a little better than this i think my description is better now will you cross the rivers if you have money you might take a ferry if there is a ferry or you can ford the river and hope you and your wagon aren't swallowed alive i don't want to be swallowed alive man what about supplies well if you're low on food you can hunt you might get a buffalo you might and there are bear in the mountains. There are bear in the mountains, everybody. At the Dallas, you can try navigating the Columbia River, but if running the rapids with a makeshift raft makes you queasy, better take the Barlow Road. Ah, see, it's like good, good advice here. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagon burns, or thieves steal your oxen, or you run out of provisions, or you die of, chorle of uh, chorlea, or whatever that says, don't give up. Try again and again until your name is up with the others on the Oregon Top 10. Okay, so wait, hold on. This is an educational game? Who the hell wrote that? You may use these colors to adjust your monitor or television. So that's just basically, you know, old school, old school monitors sucked. And okay, travel the trail. Let's do that. So we're going to type in number one and hit enter. Many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be. All right, now we get to select who we want to be. This results in uh, basically different money for us. So if we want the most money, we're going to choose to be a banker from Boston, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Maybe I'll choose another one next time, but from now, I'm going to be a banker from Boston. What is the first name of the wagon leader? I can only think of one person. Me. What? Oh, okay. In this game, if you mess up and hit, uh, you know, Backspace, you can't do that. It won't do anything. Davy. So you have to hit the back button. It's one of those old computer things. There's the capital letter. Dave. Okay, now we get to name the other four members of our party. How about, oh, I don't know. How about Scorch? How about Volvagia? <laughs> Let's Volvagia. There you go. How about mm, how about Mace Man? Mace Man. Mace Man can be one of the children. He can be the little girl. The little girl on the right there. And who will be the little boy? How about Shadow Zack? I don't think we have enough room for all that. Shad Shad Zack. That's good enough. 
Are these names correct? Why? Return. Enter. Going back to 1848. God, it, it, looks, it looks exactly like it. It is 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Hmm. Okay, so we don't want to leave too early. If you listen to the, uh, the directions, uh, I'd say about April. I'm going to leave in April because we don't want to leave too soon. We don't want to leave too late. Got to leave just at around the same, you know. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Space bar. So now we got a buttload of cash. We're going to go to Matt's General Store, and we're going to buy supplies. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix up. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen will pull you a wagon, clothing for both summer and winter, plenty of food for your trip, ammunition for your rifles, spare parts for your wagon, Matt's General Store in Missouri. Missouri. Okay, so what are we going to buy here? What are we going to buy? Let's go to one. Oxen. Uh, I want to buy a, a lot of oxen. There are two oxen in a yoke. A yoke? Are we making a fucking omelet here? What's going on? I recommend at least three yoke. I charge 40 bucks a yoke. How many do you want? Okay, so two oxen and a yoke. Uh, I'm going to buy a, a bunch load. I'm going to buy a lot here. Let's buy... I think I want to buy 10. Nah, how about... How about 12? I don't think I can select that many. Alright, 9. I'll go with 9. I'm going to buy a shitload of oxen, man. Food! Food is very important. We need a lot of food. So, I'm going to hit number 2. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. I see you have 5 people in all. You'll need... Flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. You know, we don't, it doesn't even matter, the names. I don't need to know sugar, bacon, and coffee because it doesn't make any bit of difference in the game. My price is 20 cents a pound. Damn, 20 cents a pound. <sighs> buy a lot of food. So anyway, the maximum amount of food we can buy is 2,000 pounds, and that's what I'm going to do right now. You can never have enough food in this game. Trust me on that. Trust me. 2,000. 2,000! Clothing! We're going to hit three, go to clothing. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothing per person. Each set is $10. Uh, let's buy 14. 14. 14 sets. All right. Ammunition. Ammunition really isn't that big of a thing. So we're going to go here. I sell ammunition in boxes of uh, 20 bullets. Each box costs uh, two bucks. Okay, so uh, let's uh, 200. Another zero. What? Oh, no. Can't buy that many. 20. 20 will be fine. I like to buy a lot. I just buy a shitload of everything. What you do is pretty much spend all your money. You blow your whole load. Ho oh, ho! Blow your whole load on all the uh, all the stuff right away just to get yourself set off. Okay, now we're going to go to spare parts. Uh, it's a good idea to have a few spare parts for your wagon. Here are the prices. So we got wagon wheels, wagon axles, and wagon tongues. Wagon tongues. We can only buy three each, so you might as well buy the maximum. Of course, I am a banker, so I do have a shitload of money. If you select the other two options, you're probably not going to be able to spend a lot of money. Or at least, not a lot of shit. So we're going to select three, three, and three. So it shows up my uh, total bill there. 1,030. The amount I have, 1,600. Uh, six, uh, uh, so, I mean, I, got, I still got a lot of money left over. Good stuff. Uh, to exit the store, we're going to hit the space bar, and I think I'm ready to continue my journey here. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Now loading the wagon. Now loading the wagon! Awesome, man. This is going to be an epic, epic journey. I can't wait. So in this game, sometimes they play music. So far, there hasn't been a, you know, a big soundtrack to this game. Well, that's about to change. Yeah. Independence, April 1st, 1848. Oh, God, this is going to be an awesome journey, man. I can't wait. So as soon as you're done listening to that crap, just hit the space bar. Uh, it kind of takes you up to, you, uh, you know, your navigation menu, you know, your option menu. So it shows you the weather, your health, your pace, your uh, rations, 
cool weather, health is good. And let me tell you right now, health is not going to be good for long. It's basically going to be poor for the entire journey. It really doesn't even matter. So here are our options in our... Uh, our select screen here, continue the trail, check supplies, look at map, change pace, change food rations, stop to rest, attempt to trade, talk to people, buy supplies. Also, sometimes attempt to hunt is in there, uh, which, uh, you know, it's actually a, a big a change of pace from this game. You actually get to interact with things and, and shoot animals. It's great. So right now, we're going to change our pace. I'm going to hit four. Let's check that out. I, uh, I bought a lot of oxen, so I want to push these bastards hard. We're going to go for a, a grueling pace. So I'm going to hit number three. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear these motherfuckers out. That's what I'm going to do. So there's a lot of other options right here. We're going to have to get to them next time because I am out of time, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next part. I am out.